This is Ned Ned Nurb, the Schizophrenic. You're tuned in to Day 17 of 100 Symptoms. I'm going to talk about insomnia today. Insomnia affects me frequently. It might be the longest symptom of my health condition there is. I've had insomnia since I was four or five years old. The last time I went to my parents' bedroom because I couldn't sleep, I still couldn't sleep, but I just stopped asking about uh, the trouble I was having sleeping. And in my teens, I was still having insomnia. I'd be waking up on time for school to catch the school bus every morning, but I also would stay up till 2 or 3 a.m. in my room reading or looking at something. I didn't have a cell phone at that age, and that's a good thing because I would have been worse. <laughs> but I didn't get sleep until after I started medicines. And still to this day, I'll have a moment where a day or two days or three days where I just have trouble sleeping. I have trouble getting to sleep. I stay up busy in the head and in the activities I'm doing. And I can also exhibit insomnia around my more acute psychotic phase. When I'm unwell, sleep is one of the first things to go. I stay up repeatedly all night long and stay up for 36 or 40 hours in a row and that's not good for anybody <laughs> especially people with a lot of stress and a lot of other symptoms that are exacerbated by insomnia the lack of sleep makes every symptom and symptom cluster stronger and more severe hmm. Indeed, having a good sleep routine, getting to sleep at around the same time and waking up at around the same time is a very good way to regulate the mood and the consciousness. It regulates all everything because you give the body and mind a break every night. That's why sleep is so important to every health regime. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for tuning in to Day 17 of 100 Symptoms. This is Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Share and comment and subscribe. Bye.